Good morning. Welcome back to Route 40 Rust. Today, we're going to install a new cluster into this bump site. Well, not a new cluster, a junkyard cluster, but it's better than the cluster that's in this truck. And then, we're going to drive it to town, to Dollar General, see if their freezers are still broken. Because I haven't had ice cream in a long time. So check out this cluster. <clears throat> I pulled it out of a junkyard, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. And it's not fogged up or anything. See all the gauges pretty well. It's in good shape. I snagged it for the price point. It's better than what I got. <clears throat> but I figured while I had to doubt, I would uh, obviously replace the bulbs. These things, I think, take 1895 bulbs. But I said, hey, it's 2023. Let's go LED. <clears throat> so I did. I picked up uh, from eBay. Get a bunch of these different. You got 10 of each color, which was awesome. It was like 8 bucks. What I do like about these is I can put them in test lights when I blow bulbs in them, which I don't know. It's, it's me. I do that all the time. I'm like the only guy who does it. Going back. Nothing. Nope. This one? There we go. And we got blue, red tracer. And we got same thing. Blue, red tracer. Turn off all the lights. We got this. Um, if the camera can focus, it's not great. I don't know. Maybe white would be better. I don't know. It's not horrible. Let's try white while we're here. All right, I put some white bulbs in. It is slightly better, but I think I'm going to stick with white. Or maybe my jump pack battery is a little low. I don't know. I did break a wire on one of the bulbs, so it's only half the cluster, but, oh, ah, yep, let me fix that real quick, and, uh, and I'll get the old one out. Get the old cluster out of the truck.
you know anything about any of my videos, nothing goes well ever. So this truck, I pulled the original cluster out and it's got a, I got it in there, a printed circuit board. I was like, okay, that's fine. But the connector is different than this early model connector. And that's okay. Fine. I'll deal with it. Whatever. Uh, yeah, somewhere along the way, someone put a late model cluster in this. I don't know why, but they got some pretty goofy wiring going on here. A lot of circuits taped together and uh, def definitely not factory. So, uh, I don't think it has any circuitry with the ignition control, so we should still be able to start it. Yep. Nothing like it. So I guess what I'm going to do is double check that some of these circuits even work because my other cluster really didn't do anything. So I'm going to make sure some of this works. Gotta have a good ground. Cold blooded. Come on now. Ah. Diagnostics is easy when you have good grounds and you're not me. Getting angry. All right. So what was the red wire blue temp gauge? We got temp gauge. No ignition sense. Temp. No ignition sense. Two light circus circuits. This is a circus. White blue tracer. It's a turn signal. Oh. What is happening? What the? All right, that is green black tracer. There's one light. That wire is correct. We have one wire that's right. And the temp gauge. Ooh, no. It's probably not. It's the temp gauge on. That's my ignition sense, which should be black wire green tracer. You know what? Here's what here's what Nathan's gonna do. I'm gonna tape this up so it doesn't 
short out to the dash and I'm going to shove it inside this thing. I'm going to throw the speedometer cable on this cluster and I'm going to slam it in here. And when I go back to the junkyard, I'm going to get the female end of this pigtail, which man, I had it in my hand. I was like, I had the side cutters in my hand. I said, just, just snip it, Nate, snip it. Do you know how to snip it and keep it? I said, no, I'm going to leave it there for someone else. And now look at me. Anyway, I got to go back and get more parts. So I'm going to shove this in here. It didn't work anyway. I got a three gauge cluster down there for the essentials. Maybe the speedometer would work. And then, uh, or since I really don't need the gauges, I can run a hot wire from this light. So I can take that wire, which is probably wired wrong. I got to trace all this, see what they electrical tape together and then run it to a couple of these guys to get some backlighting. I don't know. We'll see. We'll mess with it. Tip good day. Still gonna go get ice cream. Okay, new plan. Go figure. What if I take this cluster, the module part, unbolt it from the plastic molding and move it onto this one? Everything will work except for I won't have the LED lights, but that's okay. That's I'm I can survive with that. Or run and see if I can't find these bulbs in LED, which are, I don't know. Let's take one off and see what happens. cluster that was in the truck that is not the right cluster i'll tell you that much has dummy lights uh there's just bulbs behind these red red lenses and i'm sure it says uh oil and voltage or alternator or something so this just got dummy lights on this one <clears throat> it's got uh the actual gauges which is kind of nice i definitely want that so i'm going to save this guy and get that pigtail from the junkyard and make that guy happen maybe now that we got the speedometer needle unstuck if i have the right speedometer cable in that truck because now it's got a c6 automatic instead of the uh, np345 manual that's why i got it it wasn't my idea anyway nicer cluster we'll see and then so far no leds but the old lens on the existing one you really couldn't see anything and it was all yellow and you saw this one it's blue and nice and just a little bit fancier so we're making progress not the plan i had this morning but that's okay i'm used to it
we swap the guts over and I end up changing the speedometer over because of the yep. Yep, gotcha. the gearing on the old speedometer was no good. Alright, so what do you want me to do? Uh, you just sit there and make sure I don't make this worse. So, what do you for me to light up there? So I'm going to go ahead and fight, fight the speedometer cable for a while. Alright. Let's, let's move the camera so we can fight the speedometer cable, okay? Yay! And then we'll turn it back on. Well, the dash looks a lot better. The speedometer works. Which is cool because I used to have to go off the tack having 456 gears and a 3 speed. Speedometer is definitely not right. Probably going like 40 miles per hour. Fuel gauge, I don't know, it's better. A little bit better. Drive her around a bit. Consider this mildly successful. I didn't get ice cream today, so. but we got a, the new cluster in, and speedo kind of works. It's proportionately off. Still got a fuel gauge. Speedo says I'm going 70, but I bet I'm going 55. So I'm almost at 3,000 RPMs. That's about right for this final drive. But it was good to get the truck out and run it down the road a little bit. Luster looks better, I can actually see things. And I went ahead and ordered some 194 LED bulbs off eBay. And just gave them pop it out and swap those five, six bulbs over and uh, go from there. I'll probably buy the same thing, blue and white and green. I got one turn signal that's out. Anyway, running pretty good, low pressure, temperature. With a 390 and 3 speed and 456 gears, this thing is a not, not a cruiser at all. But we'll, we'll call it a win, considering my luck. If it was raining strawberries, I'd get hit by a potato. Park this thing before I make it worse. Thanks, guys. Go ahead and comment, and as always, subscribe. I'll keep pumping out videos of crap that I can't fix on old rusty cars. Have a good weekend.